So today I am doing a vlog. So y'all know if y'all watched my last vlog, this vlog is going to truly be about education, okay? Especially sexual health education. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to get real, real passionate, real, real fast um, on this topic because it bothers me. It, it like literally, it grieves my spirit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It grieves my spirit so much, it's unreal. So let me introduce myself real quick if you don't know who I am. I'm Belise Spivey. I'm known as the SCU Life Coach. I have extensive and specialized in herpes simplex virus. I've been living with the virus for 10 years. Children, I got two kids. I've been married. I've been divorced. Um, I'm in a relationship. Like, guys, you can live, okay? So if you need me, you are at the right place. But this is my V-Blog. And this V-Blog, I'm talking about educate yourself. Now, guys, if anybody has been watching or reading or if any of you guys have watched my last video um, about uh, Ask Jeezy on Breakfast Club, you know, she had Mar um, Master P and Romeo on there and a young lady asked a question of how did she tell that she has herpes. Now, I was all up in the comments because that's what I do, okay? So, I'm all up in the comments and people are like, educate yourself, educate yourself. Same situation when Delicious came out and she talked about her having um, a cold sore outbreak under her nose, okay? That was about a week or so ago. So, everybody's like, you need to educate yourself, guys. I had a whole guy go off on me, talking about, you ain't right, da-da-da-da-da, you wrong. And literally, somebody asked, where you get your information from? He said, Google. Let me tell y'all something about Google. Everything ain't Google ain't credible, okay? Anybody can write a blog. Okay, anybody can write anything. And yes, y'all like, well, I go to WebMD and I, listen, that information is still being posted most of it, probably not even by a doctor or a medical professional, okay? Um, the best places to go is the CDC and American Sexual Association, okay? Places that talks about sexual health. Now, I'm going to tell you, CDC have got so much better with the information about herpes. American Sexual Association has got so much better with the information and how they word it and things like that. Now, when you go in there, you may not get all your answers. I'm going to be honest. You're not going to find all your clear-cut answers on on Google okay you're not because the information on herpes is still scattered it's still not accurate and let me tell you why it's not accurate it's not accurate because they're not doing no research on it okay they're not for the people in the back they're not doing research on herpes that's why the information is not accurate so when even when people come to me they ask me information, but I'm going based off consistency of information. Information that is consistent and based off of my clients, okay? And based off of my personal experience, okay? And I tell people everything's different. Herpes is not the same for everybody. Some people will have outbreaks forever and on and on and on. Some people will not have outbreaks at all. Some people have outbreaks sporadically. Some people outbreaks are real bad. Some people outbreaks are not. Some are painful. Some are not. Some people will just just get tested and find they had a virus and just never see nothing. Then you got people who have it. They know, they found out because they had an outbreak. You got people who go in, they test results, say they got it, but no, they test results they don't say they have it, but they have an outbreak, guys. It is but at times, okay? It's not Fair. I'm not going to lie. It's not fair because the information is not the same. If we think about gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, syphilis, literally that information, if you go anywhere, it's like same, same, same. For us, it's not same. And we need to understand when you are open your mouth to tell somebody to educate themselves about herpes, ask them, do you want me to give you a credible site? Okay, see, I'm tired of this, educate yourself. Educate yourself for what? Because if the information is incorrect, they did not educate themselves on the accurate information, so they're still not educated to protect themselves or to protect their partners. It's no way possible to protect yourself with the incorrect information. Okay, I said it. Accept it. And this is for anything, guys. This is for absolutely anything, but I'm going hard for herpes. I'm going far, hard for any sexual STD or STI because at the end of the day, if you're getting un incorrect information, guys, and telling people it's that and then tell them you don't know, just because y'all having two different information, just because your information is different, doesn't mean both of y'all are wrong. Okay? It may be the sources is just not clear. Okay, so I want us to understand when we are on these comments, in these comments, and we're having quote-unquote debates, information debates with people, ask 
people, hey, I would love to know your source because this is the information I received and this is what I thought was true. And you're telling me it's not. Where did you get your information from? Sort check, y'all. It's nothing wrong with getting people sources to find out where they got the information from, guys. It's nothing wrong. Because at the end of the day, just because I got information, me, my information is just could be shallow and that information could be more in-depth because of what they read. Now, let me be honest. I read like um school journals and all this stuff because I'm a doctorate student. So I know how to read and like take stuff out and benefit me. But if you're just reading a blog that you read somewhere because somebody posted it and you were looking for information, that doesn't mean that person took the time to find credible sources to get this. I mean, they could have found the first thing. They could have Googled it and found the first thing. But that doesn't mean it's correct. And it could be old information. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of the information I hear about herpes is like years old. Not even updated information. So you got to just be careful with that. That's even with doctors, guys. Ask your doctor how long you've been a doctor, okay? And when the last time you received new information about herpes? Because many doctors out here are still saying there is no blood test for herpes, okay? It's still doctors out here saying it ain't no test for herpes. And many doctors out here saying you can't do nothing. <laughs> like, it's many doctors out here saying that you can't have uh, kids vaginally. You got to get a C-station. Okay, it's people out here saying all types of stuff. Because I had a guy tell that, y'all, I can tell a doctor. He will tell you. I said, no, I'm going to tell you this. Every doctor is not equal. It's not. Depending on where you went to school, depending on where you got your clinicals, depending on who your mentor is, depending on where you work at, the information is not equal. I know I got friends who are not doctors, nurses. Their information is not equal. I got many clients who are in the medical field, and they look at me like, but least I did not know this. It's because of where they went to school. It's because of who trained them. It's all of that stuff. So we need to be so careful when we tell people, educate yourself. Educate yourself where, how, when, with what information. If you want somebody to know what you know, then you share the information that you know. Don't belittle them with your information, but simply educate them in a kind and loving way. We are so bad because you know a little bit more than somebody else that you put them down. It's nasty. You hear me? It's nasty. And I had to work on myself with that. Um, so many times I have to be really cautious when I'm educating people about herpes because I don't want them to make, I don't want them to feel like I'm feeling like I'm better than them because I know more. And if I ever made you feel like that, I'm sorry, you know, because I'm not trying to do that. Um, I'm a little passionate, so <laughs> I don't like wrong information to be put out there because I know when the information is wrong, that's keeping a person from moving forward in their lives. It's keeping the stigma on this, keeping them from having a good love life and living a great life because they're not sure about this information or they believe this information.